Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons and welcome to Lost Winds, Winter of the Melodias, Lost Winds 2. I don't think it's a Luigi's Mansion situation here. It's it's not like it's called one thing in one region and something else elsewhere. Riveran! Wake up, Riveran, you're late! I don't even know what kind of voice to do because uh, I'll explain in a moment, but we have people? You know how important today is, you should really be in the palace gardens by now. Yeah. We can walk. I, I, I feel like I'm pronouncing it slightly Swedishly. Rivieren. I'm going to go this way and you can't even stop me. Except you can. So, for those just joining me, welcome to this game. And for those who watched the entire five-part playthrough of the game before this, welcome back. I'm doing this all as one Let's Play, but... I've... Oh, good. Oh, good. I know absolutely nothing about this, like, this game as a sequel. I only know of Lost Winds, which I've now played to completion, and this is my direct follow-up to that. And that's just enchanting. So I know very little about the story, just that it's a follow-up to that, and like, this is a rest of the game if Lost Winds is considered chapter one, and or the prologue. Have you finished preparing the palace garden, River, and you haven't? Oh no, I hope you have it looking beautiful before he returns, you fool. I don't know what this voice is, but that's just going to be the women's voices by now, I think. What? I hope you don't mind, but I wrote a song just for you. I'll sing it to you this evening. They're Zoras. Clearly that's what it is. Is this going to go? Oh, it won't go. I can't go this way, therefore I will sing to go the other way. Well, this is fascinating, because... I don't know what I expected as a follow-up to the previous game, but this is absolutely not the turn I was expecting it to take. What with everything being different and stuff. I've already forgotten the very first voice that I did. Let's just sing some more, see where it gets us. Probably up. I'd imagine we'll be reunited with Enril and Toku in due course. Oh good, more singing people. Sometimes I believe that through singing we can accomplish anything. Well, that's just nice. I shall sing with you. It's waking up the great face. What are you going to do with that face? Ding. Yes, this is bizarre. Well, bearing in mind the previous game that I have to compare it to, it's it's bizarre. They're just having a party. Is that what I is that the preparation you needed me to do in the gardens of the palace of the place? Can I proceed with my daily life and be reunited with the protagonist of the previous game? Because clearly I'm more I know I I'm more invested in this because this is not a human. Therefore I immediately like him more. Ooh, a yellow person, friend. Hello, Reverend. Uh, they're looking for you in the palace gardens. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was either. Everyone's gold now, and they're just as equal. I can't wait to see the king again. The city is not so empty without him. This wasn't meant to be an allegory for race. It just sort of happened that way. I didn't intend it to. Hello, friends. Enril has been missing for so long now, but if anyone can find her, it will be our beloved leader. Do you want me to sing at the door? I I'm guessing that other one would say the same thing as the... I never forgot what that is, the king can be back at any moment! This is kind of killing my voice just a little bit. I wonder if this cursor will actually mean anything at some point. There you are, Yvonne. You're very late. Today is the king's big homecoming, you should have been here hours ago! I don't want to hear your excuses, just get to work! Someone please hire me as a voice actor. <laughs> Clearly I'm doing far too much of the vocal putting out at this point. Ah! I will sing at this bridge in hopes that it collapses, and you're just going to attach yourself to me. Thanks. Am I going to die in a cutscene because of this? Nope, it went. Where even are we anyway? What exactly flavor of place is this? What are we to pick up? Just the entire earth? Oh, there's a duba. My precious. At last, I found you. And then there's Enril. Yay. We have been reunited after all. After all that build-up, we actually do have our original protagonist back. You thought this was going to be a different game? Well, it's not. Oh no, our Jumbrella Cape. That is a really shitty excuse for not letting us keep it. Togo, oh, goodness! I have never known a lazier boy in all my la lazier little boy in all my years. What would your mother Magdy say if she were to come back and find you sleeping until this late in the day? I don't know. Tubes. She would say tubes at me. No, Doggo, thank the spirits I found you. I have the most troubling news. 
My goodness, I didn't expect to see you back so soon, Natea. You have an accent on the E now. Where did you find that? I thought you were off on an expedition. I am, that is to say, I was. <sighs> I was exploring the region of Mistralis to the north when I made a disturbing discovery. Here, read this at once. It's a newspaper. It sounds like it could be in trouble. I know how precious her journal is to her. She would never let out of her sight unwillingly. Do not worry, Toku. I will help you find your mother. Where did you find this, Notaire? We must take us up there at once. Of course I will, but the trip up the mountains will take at least twelve days on foot. How convenient. We must act fast. Even with my powers, it may still take too long to reach Bagby. There must be a fast way up into the mountains. That wasn't... That wasn't a question, but I will answer you anyway. Do not worry, Enril, I have an idea. This is Magbox's way of saying thank you for saving his life. Take a spot with you, Togo. I'm sure it will serve you well. All my voices sound identical. Plot twist. Put my Jumbrella cape, though. That's a terrible excuse for being rid of it. Anyway, Magmog, just throw me up the fucking mountain. Are we going to have one of those sequences like in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker where we're just riding a dragon through everything? Do I get to keep all of my powers from the previous game? Enril's turned a darker shade of green. That means I can blow things. Well, that, that looks like a fancified version of Vortex, so it looks like we can, in fact, still... ...do all of the previous powers from the previous game. Well, you're not even going to give me a tutorial, you just expect me to remember everything. Well, that's fine. As I've said, I'm doing this as a... Like, even though it's a separate game, it gets its own playlist, but... ...this is just episode 6 of Lost Winds, just by being episode 1 of the sequel. Because it's just, it's the same game, just there's more of it. Whoosh. I made it over without too moistening. Here's some moisture. And a, a Poyak, with no introduction, even though it's a technically a different game. Magmok, move this fuck. Magmok, do you have any ideas? Magmok, lift! <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Why is... Why does this get a tutorial, but nothing else does? Well, we, we are aware. We have been learned of things. We have been learned of things. And it's good to know that the Vortex is just as... ...fwiffy as ever. Also, I can still click outside the window. So that they haven't fixed that. Although, I did work out why that is a problem. I mean, it, it's a hallmark of lazy programming, to be sure. But, technically, the game isn't supposed to run the way I'm running it. It's not supposed to be played in window... Well, the sequel is supposed to be played in window mode at a resolution of 1200 by 800. I refuse to say 1200 because it's not a fucking number. Um, first of all, Magbok, before you fuck off, is there anything over here? Have I dicked myself out of progress? Did I die by going backwards? Well, that's fun. Anyway. So, I had to go into the, um... Actually, no, this is supposed to be played in full screen, but just at that resolution. I had to go into the, uh... Like initializing file, basically just open it with notepad, and tell it, like, and tell it, Oh no, it's too far. We'll never get up there from here. Mike, do you have any ideas? Throw me! <laughs> yes, I had to do a bit of, oh shit, he's actually going to. Yeet! <laughs> this bitch tiny, yeet. Oh my god. Ooh, here's the wintry part. But yes, I had to reprogram the game to open in a window that's 1280 by 720. Well, that wasn't quite what I expected, but it worked, I suppose. We should find out where we are before we go any further. Well, we're not going to do that by not going any further. Oh, right, the map. I'm the map. There you go, that's... That's how... That's how they explain the previous game taking up the entire map and yet having an entirely other game afterwards. Summer Falls, I wonder if this has anything to do with the seasons. Yes, we are aware of these things, but thank you for reminding me anyway, game. So, page eight. Don't know what that's supposed to mean. And then there's two collectibles here. Good, we have more pointless collectibles. I have yet to uninstall the previous game from my hard drive. Oh my. That seems like an unnecessary. But okay then. Oh, we have a chillness meter. Can I... Did that help at all? The overarching point here is I had to reprogram the game to open in such a way that is conducive to me that's playing it in a good way. So that's probably why I can click outside the window, because they don't expect you to not play it full screen. But they should have programmed it in anyway, because that's just fucking lazy not to have done that. 
Ooh, a collectible, which... Oh, there are 48 in this game. Well, there's fun. Hold on, I want to... I want to chill by the fire. Ooh, there's a thing that's underwater. We couldn't possibly be able to... Uh, we, we couldn't possibly be a labia. Hmm. Can I slipstream? Oh! Okay, that's cool and unexpected. But I guess that actually does make a lot of sense. Except that didn't help at all. See, I was expecting the answer to just be slipstream. Yeah. Why would you give me that tutorial here on a slipstream puzzle? That's very misleading. Like, obviously, it, it intends us to smash that ice with a snowball, except I don't think it is somehow. Because we're going to get a power that's pertinent to this being the winter of the Melodies. What a curious place. One can only imagine why they call it Summer Falls. This place feels as if it has never seen a summer. Ooh, Enril with the sass. Well, you're a spirit of the wind, so clearly it's your fault because you've blown one too many frosty ones up this way. But this whole chill mechanic is going to get very tiresome unless we have something to fix it with later down the line. Why can I never get back to full toastiness? I need to reachieve maximum cos, and I would get in more quickly if you were stopping interrupt if you were to stop interrupting me with text boxes. Oh, Enril, you Susan! Everyone's Susan. Everyone is a telephone operator. This has been established. We're indoors and it's warm, and there's a friend. Is that you, Nekomaru Nidai? What are the haps, my friend? Hmm. Try again. Maybe he didn't hear you. I heard you. I don't remember inviting you into my home. What's happened here? Why is it so cold? Nobody knows for sure. One day the winter came, and it never left. You know, it's really too dangerous here for a boy his age. You should go back where you came from. What, what makes, makes you think we aren't from around here? Well, he's not exactly dressed for winter. You're the second person from your village to pass through here. Dropo, could he be talking about Mandy? Friend of yours? She was here a few weeks back. I helped repair that flying contraption of hers. Do you know which direction she was heading in, David Mitchell? She mentioned something about Melodia City. It's to the north of here. Nobody's been up there for hundreds of years, but I can point you in the right direction. Go there. A long way over there. Why, thank you. Be careful out there. If the cold doesn't get you, the snow monsters will. Snow monsters? Ever since the long winter started, those creatures have been getting closer and closer to our village. Like I say, you could already be too late. What's up with you, little one? Maggie is his mother. We're here to find her. Forgive me for my bluntness, young man. Your mother is a very brave lady. I'm sure she'll be fine, but uh, give up, go home, don't even bother. Here, take this. It will allow you to light the beacons on your journey up the mountain. It's the least I could do. My name is Smith, by the way. If you think I can help any more, please come visit me again. But until then, fuck off out of my house. Good luck to you. What did you give us? Anyway, we, we, pardon me, take your collectible from under your own home. Within your own home? What did we get? Oh, we have a use button. Use! But will I ever reachieve maximum warmth? Now, it is my understanding that, in the grand scheme of things, I know how Slipstream works... <laughs> I just played the first game. It is my understanding that um, there are actually... Enril only gets two new powers in this game, but there are other powers besides that, so it does still feel like there's plenty going on. So it's it's not going to be a disaster party. We just won't get as many upgrades of that flavor. You know, my, my chocolate flavor, do me a favor. Use... Oh, wow. I just realized that bar, that isn't a, like... It isn't a thing that ticks down, it like, it extends and retracts. I can read, you can read that as well. Nice. Oh, there are four collectibles here, and I presume that, yeah, the eighth page is hidden there. We're going to need to go back once we've got the first seven. Ooh, there's a this which we could... We're obviously never going to come here with the power to activate those crystals. Obviously. I mean, right, not as... But anyway, just the, that that bar, it doesn't, like, cover up or decrease. It just stretches and squashes, depending on how full it is. Ooh, I melted an entire wall. Oof, ow, my absolute wall. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> 
Well, I'm actually enjoying this more than the first game, probably at least partially, just because we, we start off with all the powers of the previous game, apart from the very broken Jumbrella Cape. Ooh, a fruit! We can eat fruit and vegetables. Why, thank you. I already knew this. Eat about two or three bites and then destroy it, as one quite rightly should. Ugh. <sighs> But I do, I do agree with the general consensus. This does feel like a logical progression from the first game. It just, it would have been nice if it had been packaged as one game, because that is the thing that it be. You know, like, if your spell socks in English, that's the Spanish for it is what it is, because that's what he cares. Oh good, you fuckers are still here. There's another thing that we could sing at if we were of the race that can sing. But alas, we cannot sing. Well, I don't know what's to that. Hello up there, you're existing and going away. Yeah, that just looks so weird, the bar stretching into place rather than... You know what? I actually like the combat music so much more in this game as well. Because instead of just being this obnoxious, like, Nokia ringtone drum beat, it's... It's like, it's it's actually... <laughs> I wondered if that thing was going to ever actually die. Can I burn this bridge? I cannot burn this bridge. I will have to come back for you down there. Unless somehow lighting both of these destroys the bridge and then it plays the Zelda sound effect. I can't go up here. I can't go on when you look so fucking frozenful. It's not too... Th I, I would have made it up specifically if you hadn't told me that we can't. Do you see, Enril? Do you see? Hang on, I'm gonna make landfall and then go. I swear I can make this. I'm gonna give it one more go and then carry on and be less of a foof. Yeah, that's it's not too steep to get up at all. We're probably not supposed to be here yet, but you could make it up here really easily. <laughs> I mean, there, there is no... Like, we're probably gonna die because there's no fire up here, but I've proven on principle. I'm at least gonna get this before I go. Page 10! Page 10! Ten. Well, I don't know if that's... Oh, we're probably not supposed to be here yet. We're supposed to have come around the other way, but I'll take it. Is there a flame or am I going to die? Yeah, I'm gonna die. Wow. I'm, go I'm going to die slowly. Yes, I noticed. <laughs> well, there isn't really any other way of coming through. So this was a total waste of time. But it was a fun waste of time because I was able to prove a point. But we just... This is us coming down from the other side, you fool. Warm me up. I'll just... I could have just eaten the fruit that was there, couldn't I? Well, whatever. As we've noticed in the previous game, health does recharge over time. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, fruit, get back here. I, I, I wish to consume you. In the name of love and eggs. Nom nom nom, stamp, plop. Were they not expecting me to eat on- Did my ice timer keep ticking down while I was eating? Because that is kind of cheap, if so. Well, whatever. But clearly they just recycled the animation of him eating from the previous game without factoring in the fact that you might eat on top of a transparent floor. So, that was a foolishness on the part of the people who made the game. Like, there are just- there are little shortcutty bits and pieces that they clearly did when making this game that it's just- Oh. I can make- I could totally make that. I can't make that, or whatever. I tried, and it's the effort that counts. We can't go any further. We can't go any further, and I die. <laughs> oh. It doesn't actually commit to doing you a damage unless you lose an entire heart. Well, okay then. Is there any other place that we can go? I mean, there's that up there, but we were already up there. Well, I'm going to go back around and save so I can end the episode anyway, but in the next episode, I have no idea where we're going next, but it's whatever. I'm enjoying this so far. We just, are we just chasing that yeti thing around? Because, uh, whatever. In the next episode of this, we will go to places and discover more things, I'm sure. But for now, I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons, and, uh, yeah, there is that. Winter of Melodias. Woo!